the other day. I got up the other day like at three o'clock in the morning and I woke up and I was just walking around like I was like, I'm so tired. I heard the devil say, go back to sleep. I was like, yeah, you're right. I should go back to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I was like, bro, you wanted something. <laughs> you know He's like, why are you getting up this early? You already number one in the world. You already number one in the world, E. You already doing what you're supposed to be doing. Like, E, you've been grinding. The, just go ahead, it's three. And my body said, yo, E, what, what would you go back to sleep for? I said, I'm tired. My body said, you're not tired. I said, well, why would you say I'm not tired? He said, because you woke up without an alarm clock. You woke yourself up. So if you were tired, your body wouldn't let you get up. If you were tired, your body would make you sleep to six. You got up, it's three. No, what you don't want to do is the grind, but you're up. So do me a favor, Eric, you don't even have to do anything. You don't even have to work. You've been getting up at three so early in the morning, don't even worry about it. Just put your shoes on, and when you get on the treadmill, it's just going to do it for you because you've been doing it every day for three o'clock in the morning. For real. The, my body said, all you got to do is put your shoes on. That's the hardest thing you got to do. Just put your shoes on, and I'll do the rest. I can't put your shoes on for you, but put your shoes on, and then just go. And I just went. And I, I was walking for the, I do the tw uh, 11 incline boy, and I was just walking for an hour, and I was just like, you know what, it's almost an hour, I don't feel like running. And my body was like, don't even worry about it, we'll get to that when we get to it. I did my hour, was about to get off, my body was like, you know we run now. <laughs> I said, what? We run now, let's go. You, you ain't tired? I said, I am tired. No, you're not, you just walk for an hour. You're not tired, Eric. Your brain is telling you some dumb stuff. If you were tired, you wouldn't have been able to walk for an hour. Okay, so let's do this. Just run for two minutes. <laughs> I'm trying to help somebody right now go to a whole other level. The Bible says, the, the reason why you go back to sleep is because you've always gone back to sleep. It's like a default. You, you go back to sleep because you always, all you got to do is stop going to sleep and then you go stop going to sleep. All you got to do is stop fussing and cussing and you're going to stop fussing and cussing. When that alarm clock goes off, there's at least 50% of the time where you just, that, that soft little pillow is just caressing your head and you want to stay there. And it takes discipline to go, nope, I'm going to get up out of this bed and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. And that discipline that you have at that moment, you win that fight. That's a big victory. And then that, that, that pattern will carry out throughout the day because once you're up, well, now that I'm up, I might as well go work out because I'm already up and I, I feel good that I got up out of bed and I won that battle. Let me go win another battle. I'm gonna go get it done. And then when you show up at the office and there's someone that's got a big box of donuts that they're giving away for free, by the way, so right, they're just donuts. sitting, it's almost like an insult not to take them, but when you've already gotten up early, you had the discipline there, you already worked out, you had the discipline there, and now you see the box of donuts, you're like, no, I'm not gonna eat the donuts. No, no donuts, you're not gonna do it. And that discipline carries on throughout the day. So now you take that and you, you expand that out over a week and a month and you end up with more discipline. And it starts with that simple act of getting up and getting out of bed in the morning. They're good habits. Why would you not wake up at 4.30? Well, what does this bring to you? Waking up early? You just get a jump on the day. The reason I wake up at 4.30 in the morning is because no one else is awake yet. So that gives me the opportunity to do things that I need to get done kind of selfishly for myself. And the big one in that category is working out. And it doesn't feel good at 4.30 when you get up, but by the time seven o'clock rolls around and you've already worked out and you've already gotten some, some work done and you've got some time to say goodbye to your kids before they go to school, it's infinitely better than sleeping in until 6.45 and you get out of bed and now you're, you missed your kids going to school or, or whatever, you, you, you're not prepared for the day. It's, it's off. It has to do with waking up. Now, when you think about being productive, you got a big day and you got a bunch of stuff you need to get done, most of us focus on when. When do I need to get up in order to get everything done? That's not what you need to focus on. The thing that really impacts your productivity is how. How do you wake up? And here's the deal. If you're somebody like I used to be that hits the snooze button, that kills your productivity for at least four hours. Let me explain. You have to understand this. The snooze button creates a mental state, a state in your brain that is called sleep inertia. It's so bad it actually has a name. Here's what it is. When you and I go to bed, we sleep in cycles. We sleep in cycles of like 90 to 110 minutes all night long. And right before you wake up, 
the sleep cycles, they stop and your body goes into a wake up mode, okay? Your brain is starting to slowly wake up so that it can start the day. When your alarm goes off, you're in wake up mode. Your brain is now ready to do its best work. However, if the alarm goes off and you hit the snooze button, guess what you've just done? You've just made your brain go back into a sleep cycle. Your brain is now in a mode that takes about 90 to 110 minutes to complete. You just rebooted the system. So when your alarm goes off and you get up 15 minutes later, you're now in major trouble. And the reason why you're in trouble is because your brain is still locked into a sleep cycle. And this is where sleep inertia comes in. You know how when you hit the snooze button, you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, I did not get enough sleep last night. You feel so groggy. You kind of feel like this mental hangover. That is sleep inertia. Here's the deal. Your brain, the cortic region of your brain, which is responsible for decision-making, attention, alertness, self-control, that sucker is still in a sleep cycle. And now that you're awake, it's gonna take the cortal region almost four hours to actually snap out of that sleep cycle. That's why you feel groggy. It's because the part of your brain that's responsible for critical thinking and being alert, it's actually still asleep. If you don't already do this, you've got to train yourself to be the kind of person that doesn't use the snooze alarm. Because when you hit the snooze alarm, you're not only putting your brain in a state of sleep inertia, you are directly impacting your productivity, your alertness, and your brain processing for the first four hours that you're awake. That's making life harder. I'm all about making life easier. So tomorrow, when the alarm goes off, I don't care how tired you are, I don't care how much you don't want to get out of bed, I want you to remember this. I want you to remember that you've got to wake up and give your brain its best shot to do its best work. And the way you're going to do it is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, turn off that alarm and get up. Seize the day and go be productive. When you wake up in the morning, your willpower is strongest. When you wake up in the morning, you've got a full well of mental focus. And we know that focus in our world is even more valuable than intelligence. And I could go on and on on the benefits. I mean, you get up at 5 a.m., you've got the world to yourself. There's no crowds. You can think. You can plan. You can care for yourself in a world where so many people are so depleted. And so the five it the five AM club really is a game changer. And then it's not just get up at five AM and you know scratch your stomach or stare up at the ceiling. It, or look at the, your phone. Or look at especially <laughs> not I believe you can play with your phone or change the world. You don't get to do both. Yeah. And so uh it, the 5 a.m. club method is based on the 2020 formula. I'm happy to get into it, but that is yeah, the tell us what it is. That's the revolutionizer, and and it started from my experience with working with many billionaires. I've I've, I've coached many of the most successful financiers and uh, titans of industry for for over two decades. And one of the things I would run them through is the way you begin your day sets up the way you live your day. And so the 2020 formula that the book is based upon is pretty simple. I, I go into great detail in the book, but essentially it's from 5 to 520, the first pocket is move. And I'm a fanatic about neuroscience. and. Why do you get up and move? Because you're going to release serotonin, which is going to make you feel better. You're going to release dopamine, which is the pleasure and inspirational neurotransmitter. You're going to release norepinephrine, which will boost your focus. You'll promote neurogenesis. Marie, you can actually grow new brain cells. Oh, you're going to increase yeah, your metabolic rate. So the way, you begin, the way you feel when you first wake up is not the way you're going to feel at 520. Second pocket of the 20-20-20 formula, 20 minutes from 520 to 540, that's on reflection. So a lot of us are busy, but what's the point of being busy if you're doing the wrong things? The, the billionaires, the great creatives, the people of great impact, the people who live beautiful lives are very intentional. Mm -hmm. They're very deliberate, they're very conscious. So for 20 minutes, you write in a journal, you can visualize, you can pray, you can meditate, you can simply contemplate 
how you're going to live your day, who, what you want to stand for during the day, for example. And then the final pocket of the 2020 formula is all about grow. And that's where you, you, you just read from a biography or a business book or a philosophy book or a or hyper- watch a Marie TV. Well, especially watch a Marie TV. That's, yeah, I, of course. That's the game changer, isn't it? And so that's 20 minutes of growing yeah. because I think we're most alive when we are growing. Yes. And um, I believe the leader who learns the most wins. 